Okay guys, third installment to the one year, 18 and a half thousand miles, F-150 power boost, full hybrid. <laughs> it's got, uh, not the 360 cams, but it's got a lot of fancy features. It's got power on board. Um, adaptive headlights, all that jazz. But my general observations here, um, everybody's gonna ask for fuel economy. Uh, so oh, let's just go there, let's get it done. Um, I'm not getting that. I'm getting that when I go in like, you know, suburban areas with synchronized lights, uh, <laughs> then it gets good, right? Um, but generally urban, urban, I'm, I'm getting about 19. Highway at high speeds, I'm getting about 22. Highway at slow speeds, like 65. Getting about 26. Um, overall, I'm getting 22 and a half after 19-ish thousand. The suspension's really stiff in the back. It's kind of clunky in the front. Stiff in the back. It's tied to that 11,000 pound tow rating. I'm gonna start tinkering with that. Um, I've not towed a single time, so I want a little softer, but I'm not gonna change the spring stuff. That, eh, mm. F-150 hybrid, it's, it's currently all about that pro power capability, right? I mean, just 400, what is it? 430 horse, 570 foot pounds. It's like, you guys could have done this with the 2.7 as well, you know, like, or the V8. Um, it'll be nice when they have a version a little less macho oriented. Um, maybe available, you know, with not this and more realistic so that, you know, you don't have to be in park to be able to use this. Let's just do that in every video. <laughs> um, I never once wished I had the sunroof. Never once. Um, the world doesn't want you to have nice things. Literally, when they're supposed to yield, they get pissed off that you're driving. And they shoot at you. Glad I didn't notice, because they were guaranteed to be outgunned. Um, it's fairly resistant to hail. Oh. Yeah, I had a hailstorm. They did PDR. Um... There are a tiny couple dents up there because they're on ridges, but um, bigger than 50 cent piece, bigger than golf balls, somewhere between 50 cent piece and um, like like an orange and uh, PDR. Uh, cash deal, you know, thankfully. Parts are expensive. That mirror, just the glass for the auto dimming mirror, 260 bucks on FordParts.com. Uh, 350 at the dealer. Checked today. Stock scissor jacks sucks. Uh, oh, oh, the rim. Um, whoop, whoop. Uh, oh yeah, running boards. They're great. Um, yeah, people are like, oh, they're power. It'd be nice if they're power. But this thing still kicks up a lot of stuff. Knees protected. I hear stuff clanking from there all the time. I'd rather those get broken and bend than body panels. So I like having running boards. These are 18 inch rims. You could pay $1,000, $995 for 20 inch rims if you want to, if you're a sucker. You can also do that just, you know, takeoffs. The spare, the spare. It's a 17 inch rim. My old truck, a 2013, you guys might have seen it. Uh, my mom now owns it. Um, it has an 18 inch rim. So I was able to take tires so they wouldn't age out. I would take a used tire and put it on the spare. So I would have a spare that wasn't aged out. And it sucks, because I can't just do that now. It's a different size. I could actually buy one. Obviously that's four or five years from now, but yeah. Um, let's see. Uh, other observations. Oh. Normal, normal, normal. Really busy. Any more observations I've got listed here? Parts are expensive. Running boards, mud flaps added. Overall, yeah, good truck, forward thinking features. Uh, some growing pains though. Um, golly, when they make a less feature rich, like, uh, 
less focused on power, more focused on fuel economy and making it just like a smoother experience, they'll, they'll really have the sweet spot for, you know, I think you don't need, you don't need to be the fastest truck on the road, but if you do, this is not far from it, at least if you want to run regular fuel. <laughs> okay.